Alright, so for the exterior characteristics of a gothic um, structure, so usually our front facade is facing the west, so basically yung apps pa rin, um, facing the east para sa rising sun na nag nagkakas ng light sa altar. Then, um, take note of these parts, so usually have two towers may gable uh, gable roof then meron tayong tinatawag na croquettes yung croquettes na to, sa kahit anong um, end or edge part or point part ng, ng bawat design elements which are seen with this areas meron mga croquettes which are ornamentation in order to na uh, keep in order to keep producing the pointy or um, yeah, po pointy ornamentation of or pointy character of the d gothic architecture then we have the finials so eto ang mga finials naman may kita mo siya sa end ng bawat pinnacles then we have the niche yung parang clear space or clear openings sa ilalim ng pinnacles then, yun, we have the rose window along with an equilateral arc supported with arch uh, equilateral arc then we have the archivolts and the main opening with equilateral arc then other two openings with um, lancet arc so, this is the typical however they um you can design this one differently pare. So, yeah, we have our rose windows, one of the major characteristic of a gothic church. Then we have the stained glass which um gives a story sa doctrine or it illustrates the doctrine of um of Christianity and yun nga may kita mo to sa either sa gallery area or sa clearest story part ng um, the, um, ng interior naman and exterior so here so we have the tribune and the clearest story then we have the trains, traceries these are um, stoneworks El or uh, design elements so basically yun nga, made out of stones in order to support larger windows then we have the foil and foils are yun nga, made out of cusp and yung cusp na yun, yun siya yung parang leaf sa isang parang kung isipin mo siyang parang flower siya yung nagsiserve as uh, a leaf so, ito yung cusp. In order to make a lobe. So, ayan yung buong lobe. And meron siyang different uh, types or different kinds of design. So, meron tayong tinatawag ng trefoil. For it is three, then quatrefoil. Um, sinkfoil. Then, the multifoil na pwede pang mas mag-produce ng larger numbers. Then, um, one of the major, um, tawag dito. one of the main um, design or structural part na nagbibigay ng impression sa, sa Gothic um, church is, yun nga, yung spire, na nagbibigay ng impression of strength, dahil sobrang pointy, then reaching towards the sky, parang ang yun nga, nire-reach mo na ang heaven, parang ganun ang impression then, kasi uh, the taller the structure nag nagbibigay ng strength ng isang lugar so, kung paano nagkakumpit ang isang, ibang, iba't ibang countries up until now sa kung alin ang tallest structure, ganun din from um, history or from um, way way older ano, older eras, periods then we have the, uh, the fletch 
and it is um, lead covered timber spire or spirelet and may kita mo to usually sa um, crossing ng gothic church so yan yung pinaka um, we can say na pinaka tallest or the tallest um, spire or tallest um, structure within a, a gothic church so yun nga often ni may kita mo siya sa crossing instead of producing a dome ito yung kapalit nun so here it is then may kita mo yung mga maliit liit design na yan yun yung mga cro croquet or cro uh, croquettes so mapapansin nyo meron siyang jade ornamentation of saints and other important um, figures here's the buttress flying buttress connecting to the buttress so it made the structure wider larger with um, thinner and more on uh, human scale nakapal ng bawat uh, walls aside from that we have the pointed pinnacles with relative structures sa ends nila so ang ang portion na to or ang main um, purpose nito is to cover the cap or forming the cap of a buttress so in order to give ornamentation sa bawat towers and sa bawat ends ng um, major structural elements ng isang gothic structure as well as aside from that it gives um, st stability dun sa tinatransmit na um, structure uh, na load from flying buttress to from roof to flying buttress to the buttress itself kasi nga it also bears weight kumbaga yung bawat tower na yan nagbe bear pa rin ng weight so it parang kinocompress niya palalo yung load from flying buttress papunta sa buttress and natatransmit na siya sa ground so it, it creates stability and balance so ayan so these are the pinnacles so connection between roof column to flying buttress to the buttress and etong pinnacle na to ang pinaka nagbibigay ng support sa buttress then we have the croquettes which are hook shapes or parang leaves or foil foil like na lahat ng to or yun nga buds of flowers pala ang pinaka magandang description and um meron silang usual na regular intervals na ginagamit sa bawat pointy edges of any sloping um, design elements of a structure then we have the finial and usually has a hip nub like and make it to usually sa apex ng bawat um, structure which are dome spire towers yung pinnacles yung, uh, yung spires in roof and anything na may kita along the apex so some uses a chicken as um, end ornamentation some uses the nub and some uses some croquets and different kind of um, ornamentation then we have the flying buttresses which also called as kung fudu it is a main supporting facility to share the pressure from the roof to the um, main support going to the buttress so ang ano nito ang kumbaga ang pinaka naging effect nito naging exposed ang isang structural element however nag add pa ng design to make it to give more character sa gothic architecture so here's a simple um, gothic ba uh, flying buttress ito yung sinasabi ko na portion na pwede mo nang malakaran yung portion uh, space na to in between dun sa tribune part saka sa clerestory part or sometimes uh, may attic space ka dito covered so with a roof 
So here's the difference between a Romanesque um, structure or section to a Gothic section. So sa Romanesque, sobrang massive ng wall, makapal ang wall, with only one aisle and one nave still has uh, the flying buttress like part pero hindi pa nila siya identified during this time so ang ano lang nila dito is makapal pa rin tong flying buttress na to eh. with this one nagkaroon na ng flying buttress sa bawat portion so ito yung may kita natin sa exterior however pati sa interior so parang mayroon siya mga ridge tinat na ridge beams or smaller beams na nagta-transmit pa ng load sa iba-ibang structural parts. And kung makikita nyo, thinner walls, thinner yung, thinner pa rin yung um, columns pero higher. Mas mataas. So, verticality is emphasized. Parang mas light tingnan yung structure. Mas effective yung naging design. Kahit na mas makapal yung buttress sa labas it gives emphasis or it gives another effect. Then, um, we have the gargoyles. Na ito yung may, may kita natin usually sa mga castles. Pero, yung mga gargoyles na to, it means um, throat. So, basically, ito yung nagsaserve as um, parang downspout. So, dyan lumalabas ang tubig from the roof to the to the alulod then aside from that naging impression natin sa gargoyle is a monster however ayun um, duality pa rin so symbolism nito is that kapag hindi ka sumusunod sa rules of christianity or sa rules ni god um, you will be eaten by this gargoyle or demon like um images, demon-like uh, sculptures, and yun, yun yung magiging, yun yung nagbibigay ng fear sa mga hindi sumusunod sa Christianity. So, yun, um, oftenly, um, oftenly, or na, uh, designed as grotesque figures. Aside from that, yun pa, to scare and also fend off evil spirits. And also, for you to have fear sa mga yun. So, hindi lang laging grotesque figures. Minsan, animals din ang ginagamit. And some are unex unexplainable um, figures. Next, we have the pilasters. And, uh, usually, it is an engaged pier or it has a capital and a base that gives a motif or ornamental motif sa walls. So, um, kung dati iniisip, eh, kung sa, ano, kung sa Romanesque, iniisip natin na structural element lang siya with this one, mas nagbigay sila ng way para magamit din siya as an ornamentation. So, basically, ito lang ang ano, system nun. Meron kang capital, meron kang shaft, meron kang base. So, uh, ginagamit siya sa mga portions along openings to produce um, din yung design na parang traditional. Yung parang sa Greek and Romans. Then, we have the arcades which are um, pointy and produces a form of gallery from walls to windows. So, same pa rin as um, a Romanesque style. Nagkaroon lang ng evolution sa design. So, here are um, the main comparisons between each of the architectural period. And you may... Um, make some research then regarding this. Make sure to read them well. Make sure to um, make sure na isa puso nyo. Not just as uh, memorization, but 
we all know na yung magiging uh, way natin of learning about history is through uh, comparative analysis in also to in order for you to understand and to to know the philosophies of each design the theories used and kung bakit ginagamit yon what why and how uh, during these times and um, how you will apply it sa mga next um, designs nyo. Then for next meeting, we'll talk about each timelines of the Gothic architecture.